Hey everybody, Mitch here from Plant Fuel Trainers. Today I'm going to prepare a, uh, a dish called Dustin's Jambalaya. We've made this several times already and it's one of my favorites because I love Cajun food. And thankfully, uh, this family, the Lujani family, uh, Ramona and Dustin wrote a book called, wrote a cookbook, wrote, uh, entitled Pure Ambrosia. And it's their family, family Cajun recipes that they've cooked over the years that they've converted to a whole food plant-based uh, style. I urge you, if you like Cajun food, to check it out. You can find it on Amazon. Again, it's called Pure Ambrosia. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'm looking forward to eating some of this uh, when it's done cooking. So step one is to prepare what's called the Trinity, which is celery, green pepper, and onion, which I've diced already. And I've thrown it into a Dutch oven and we are going to brown them up over a, uh, a medium high heat. So that's step number one in preparing the, this jambalaya dish. Now we're slowly uh, getting the, uh, the trinity of vegetables to uh, start to brown. And we're waiting for the onions to get translucent. And I should tell you that I use one and a half onions, uh, three good sized celery stalks, and uh, two green peppers. So I'm deviating a little bit from the recipe that's in the book because I'm, I'm looking to make a, uh, a larger size so uh, we have food for the entire week based off uh, Sunday's meal prep. I'm continuing to uh, work with this trinity of uh, green pepper, onion, and celery, stirring it around, getting the onions to be translucent, and celery and the pepper to soften up a little bit. And I'm using this special sort of stirrer that uh, we got by donating money to the uh, Esselstein uh, Family Foundation at uh, Camp Plantstock this past uh, August. So we got a chance to talk with uh, Dr. Esselstyn, uh, Jane, Ann, and Rip so that was a, a pretty neat experience to be able to meet them, talk with them, have them sign our, our cookbooks that uh, we had purchased, but also just to hang out with them, ask them questions. And they were really genuine people who you know want to uh, help, help everybody transition in, in, uh, to a whole food plant-based diet and to uh, just get healthier. So if you uh, are looking to donate some money, check out the Esselstyn Family Foundation uh, and uh, donate a little bit if you can. So that's just a little unsolicited plug for them. Okay, I've gotten the onions uh, to a translucent color, so I've turned the heat down to a, a medium low. And now I'm going to add a uh, 14 and a half count, 14 and a half ounce can of organic diced tomatoes to the dish. Get it all out there. Good, good. And a quarter cup of minced garlic. Boy, looking good. And then the recipe calls for two cups of diced mushrooms, but my wife is allergic to mushrooms, actually highly allergic to mushrooms. I don't want to spend a day in the emergency room with her. So we substitute uh, chorizo Satan that uh, we buy at Whole Foods. It's Upton, Upton's brand. And I'm using uh, two packages here. So I'm going to throw that in as well. And we'll break up the chorizo Satan a little bit more. 
and mix it all together. And then we're going to cook this for a few minutes. Let it sort of all mix together, get the flavors sort of combined. Okay, so now we have the, uh, the garlic and the tomatoes and the uh, chorizo uh, Satan all sort of cooked together with the, uh, the trinity of vegetables. Now we're going to add a, uh, a third of a cup of tamari. Uh, that's similar to soy sauce. And then liquid smoke. We are going to add three tablespoons of liquid smoke. And I've pre-measured all of this. And a third of a cup, or a half a cup, I'm sorry, of nutritional yeast, commonly called nooch in the whole food plant-based world. And some cayenne pepper, and this would be half a teaspoon. Give it a little bit of a kick. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we're going to mix that all together and allow it to cook down for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so now everything's sort of cooked together, so I'm going to add four cups of organic long grain brown rice to this mixture. And I'm going to stir it so that the rice gets completely covered with the, uh, the base of uh, everything else that we've been cooking up to this point. Okay, so the, the rice is now sort of mixed together with the, uh, the rest of the base. And I'm going to add about six and a half cups of uh, organic fat-free vegetable broth to the mixture. And hopefully it's going to fit in this Dutch oven which it did. And now, again, I'm going to stir it and let it come down to a simmer and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And that will be the first go round of getting all this put together and mixed well. The uh, the rice and the vegetable broth have now sort of simmered for 10 minutes. So I'm going to turn the heat down to the lowest setting. And I'm going to add some pre or some chopped up green onion. And there's about, I don't know, I, the recipe calls for about a third of a cup two-thirds of a cup of green onions chopped up. I love green onions so we've done maybe a little bit more of that. So I don't follow this recipe in the in the pure ambrosia cookbook exactly but it is really a great starting point and like every great chef of which I'm not you sort of play it by ear. So I've stirred in the the green vegetable or the green onions. I'm going to cover the pot now and cook it for about 10 minutes on this lowest heat setting. Everything now has been uh, cooking for 10 minutes, so I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to take the cover off the pot and fold everything so that I'm getting the rice that's on the bottom sort of folded over. 
we're going to actually do this several times and going to recover it and turn the timer on for another 10 minutes and we'll go from there well the uh, concoction has now been sort of in the pot for about 10 minutes so I'm going to uncover it again do this really quickly and again fold over the rice that's on the bottom get it up to the top And you can see it's really starting to thicken up here. So I'm going to now put the top back on and set the timer for another 10 minutes. And we'll check it in 10 minutes. So the dish has uh, sat for another 10 minutes. So we're gonna open it up and it's looking really good. I can't even describe the smell that's coming out of this pot. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to pretty much just fold over the rice again. And we are sort of completed with this dish. So before I cover it, let's take a close up of it. And. We're going to enjoy this for the rest of the week. Hopefully you try out this recipe and enjoy it as much as we do. I'm Mitch from the Plant Fuel Trainers. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you try out the recipe. If you love Cajun food like we do, again, I urge you to pick up a copy of Pure Ambrosia by Dustin and Ramona Lajani. It's got some great recipes. We've tried several others in here and they all turn out great. They're actually pretty simple and they're really delicious. Uh, if you love whole food plant-based cooking and you have a taste for Cajun food, get a copy of this book. Again, Mitch from Plant Fuel Trainers signing off until uh, the next video. You guys take care.